Russia's insane plan to build a superhighway to America. You may not be aware, but Russians always have crazy ideas. The latest idea is a plan to build a highway that will connect Russia and America. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Well, we already told you about crazy ideas. A Bering Strait crossing is a hypothetical bridge or tunnel that would span the relatively narrow and shallow Bering Strait between the Chukotka Peninsula in Russia and the Seward Peninsula in the U.S. state of Alaska. The crossing would provide a connection linking the Americas and Eurasia. With the two Diomede Islands between the peninsulas, the Bering Strait could be spanned by a bridge or tunnel. Sounds impossible? Well, so let's see what the construction plan is and if there are any obstacles to construction. Hmm, obstacles? Do you think the ocean is one of the obstacles? The biggest one? Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. We look forward to hanging out again today and talking about Russia's insane plan to build a superhighway to America. This topic will certainly be interesting to you, so sit comfortably and carefully watch the video until the end. But before that, be kind and subscribe to our channel and also press the notification bell so you don't miss more videos like this one. So let's start. The concept of an overland connection crossing the Bering Strait goes back to the 20th century. William Gilpin, first governor of the Colorado Territory, envisaged a vast cosmopolitan railway in 1890, linking the entire world through a series of railways. Two years later, Joseph Strauss, who went on to design over 400 bridges and then serve as the project engineer for the Golden Gate Bridge, put forward the first proposal for a Bering Strait rail bridge in his senior thesis. The project was presented to the government of the Russian Empire, but it was rejected. In 1904, a syndicate of American railroad magnates proposed a Siberian-Alaskan railroad from Cape Prince of Wales in Alaska through a tunnel under the Bering Strait and across northern Siberia to Irkutsk via Cape Dezhnev, Vrknekolimsk, and Yakutsk. Tsar Nicholas II approved the American proposal in 1905 only as permission, not much financing from the Tsar. These hopes were dashed with the outbreak of the 1905 Russian Revolution, followed by World War I. Interest was renewed during World War II, but again nothing concrete was done. In 1958, Chinese engineer Tang Yen Lin suggested the construction of a bridge across the Bering Strait to foster commerce and understanding between the people of the United States and the Soviet Union. Unfortunately, this plan was not realized either, because Tang Yen Lin died. And here, finally, after many years, Russia has decided to deal with this plan and is finally realizing it. But, <laughs> there's always a but. This is a bold and crazy plan but it faces many obstacles. One of the obstacles is distance. The straight distance between Russia and Alaska is 82.5 kilometers. If building bridges and using the Diomede Islands, the straight distance over water for the three parts would be 36 kilometers, 3.8 kilometers, and 36.8 kilometers, in total 76.6 kilometers. This would make it the longest bridge in the world. The depth of the water is a minor problem, as the strait is no deeper than 55 meters, comparable to the English Channel. The tides and currents in the area are not severe. The bigger problem is the weather. The route is just north of the Arctic Circle, and the location has long, dark winters and extreme weather, including average winter lows of minus 20 degrees Celsius and temperatures approaching minus 50 degrees Celsius in cold snaps. This would mean that the construction work would likely be restricted to five months of the year, around May to September. Although there is no icebergs in the Bering Strait, ice flows up to 1.8 meters, which are in constant motion during certain seasons, which could produce forces on the order of 44 meganewtons on a pier. So if this project is implemented, how will it affect these two countries and the rest of the world? First of all, this will be a great benefit for both America and Russia because they will be able to transport various goods faster and cheaper. Not to mention, it's also safer that way. This will link the two continents and improve the economy that will suit everyone. The construction of a tunnel under the Bering Strait would greatly facilitate the transportation of gas and oil, and it would be the longest tunnel in the world. The cooperation of the states would mean better communication and national unity. Yes, this all sounds great and at times unbelievable and maybe impossible, but did you notice that not once during the video did we mention the date of the start of construction and the joining of the continents? 
that's right, we didn't say that, because no one knows the exact date of construction and completion of works. Time will tell when that will happen. So what do you say? Do you believe this is possible to build and connect the two continents? Why not? Everything is possible, right? There is a comment section below, so feel free to share with us your opinion. If you enjoyed the video, smash like and share the video. For more topics like this, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video. While we are preparing a new video for you, you can watch another video from our channel. You will not regret it. You will have fun. So guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching the video until the end. Have a nice day and see you soon.